I've got a question to uh, President Trump. Do you share the conviction which we have just heard a minute ago expressed by President Duda uh, concerning uh, the threat which is posed to the region, but not only to the region, by Russia? And do you also share the view that uh, permanent American bases in Poland are justified not only due to the security of the countries in our region, but also due to the security of the United States? I think it's a, a very aggressive situation. Uh, I think uh, Russia has acted aggressively. Um, they respect force. They respect strength, as anyone does. And we have the greatest strength in the world, especially now. We were being depleted under the last administration. We had planes that were old and tired and didn't fly in some cases. They were getting used parts. This is the United States. It doesn't happen. We make the greatest planes in the world and missiles in the world. And uh, we have enhanced, to put it mildly, our military. It's literally being rebuilt as we speak with literally hundreds and hundreds of planes and missiles and everything that you can imagine. They never had it so good because I got in Congress $700 billion this year, $716 billion last year. That's far more than they ever anticipated. I viewed it two ways. Number one, military, because it's always more important than anything else, including jobs. But number two is jobs. We make everything here. So it's uh, hundreds of thousands of jobs to make for us the best military in the world. And Russia respects that. They respect that. So uh, I, am, I am with the President. I feel that he's right. And I feel that, look, you look at the history of Poland and Russia, that's a long and very complicated history. So certainly has a right to feel that way. Okay? Uh, and a question to President Duda. After the meeting that you have had today at the White House, do you have the feeling that the probability that Polish expectations concerning present, uh, permanent American prisons in our country are closer to being implemented? Uh, are they going to be a fact? Ladies and gentlemen, today myself and Mr. President um, had a tete-a-tete -tete meeting, a private meeting, and then we met also with our staff. We had um, long conversations, very honest discussions, and uh, very strong at certain points as well in terms of uh, diagnosis of the situation in the area of military security and energy security alike, and I am convinced that All of, All of us that. are going to draw appropriate conclusions from these discussions because, as I said, both sides presented their positions in many, absolutely many elements. Uh, they are concurrent as far as the assessment of the situation currently is. What kind of steps need to be taken in order to protect both the issue of security and the issue of interests? These are business-related issues. I am convinced that Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to see the results of both our meetings today and of the declaration that we have signed together with Mr. President. Of course, we are talking about long-term processes, so I'm sure that you are going to see how this is going to be filled with content. and You will see concrete facts that will appear on the maps and also in agreements and in purchases that are going to be realized.